Hey guys, this is iGamesHelper123 and uh, today I wanted to show you um, about how to get started with um, you know creating games for an iPhone without having to know any coding languages or actually you need to know coding languages but only like HTML5, JavaScript and all those easy stuff. You don't need to know Objective-C and stuff but it is a nice idea to start off with that as I have given this a try and I think I want to start with Objective-C uh, anyways because um, HTML5 kind of is complicated because you need to know JavaScript and how object-oriented languages work so if you want to learn those then I would highly recommend you start off with Objective-C so you know, just get yourself Objective-C for dummies and start reading and you know, start practicing because that's the best way to do it. And actually, you should probably get a book and practice at the same time. But I will show you, um, you know, how to create a couple of things or, oh, I'm sorry, how to create games and uh, a couple other stuff related to the SR script. So I have here an error. I don't know what to choose here, so I'm just going to exit that out. But um, we'll keep updating my vlog. Right? And then there's another very nice tutorial I found, um, you know, kind of is a demo game, uh, very basic, it gives you the demo and you can even play it, but it goes through like, you know, how it's um, set up and stuff, so you, you can like learn off of it if you want, but then again you need to, you know, understand what these, like, you know, what that means right there and what this means right here, all that good stuff, you know, like pop ratio and stuff. So, I mean, if you don't understand that, then obviously you need to start way over and just probably start Google, uh, you know, basics of HTML5 and stuff. So, I mean, you know, there's the little um, way how the game is set up and stuff. So, uh, let's uh, see if this game actually works for, you know, works with the SR script actually. So, what we're going to do is download the demo and open it up and oops and then you know you can open it up and stuff I sort of already have it because I was giving it a try so I created I'm gonna provide this in a link but um created a demo app uh, well kinda tweaked the name of the um app from my app dot app to demo game app and then as you can see my app is still there and then uh, resources we lost the application.html, well, you can rename it, and then basically, you know, there's your little <coughs> game, so, um, yeah, so that's how it works, um, let's make it a actual IPA file, like a game, alright, so we have our HTML, or aka the game, right there, and uh, you don't necessarily need the this right here, but you can surely use this. And I will actually, I would actually, uh, I'm gonna talk to Slug Rail and replace these by the ones, the current ones. And uh, there's a stable release of 1.3.0. You can even go to their site and just put that in the script uh, header script if you know that, or in the header tag. Um, anyway, so we have the app, and now let's. Uh, you know, switch over to my phone and see how, how to make the IPA out of this and uh, you know how it looks like. Actually before we do that uh, I wanted to say that um, you know there's another uh, nice tutorial that's out and uh, this guy really goes through the roots of how to create a game using HTML5. There's several parts to it and then he links them right there so sorry had to yawn um, but it's a very nice tutorial I am actually going to follow it I found it for you guys but I think I'm going to use it too offered in Russian language I am not Russian obviously because I can not speak Russian just basically but yeah so that I'm going to provide these links in the description if you're not my friends actually I shall post them in my blog I would like you, to, you guys to visit them. But anyways, you know, so you get the little spiel. We have a temp demo template right here. And for now, just replace the, uh, in the rest file, just uh, uh, just delete the application dot, uh, 
HTML, and then rename the um, I think it's called index when you download it. Index to a application dot uh, HTML if you have that enabled, and if you don't know how to do that, let me quickly show you how to do that. Go to Tools, Folder Options, go to View, click uh, the second one, Hide Extensions for Known File Types, click OK. And you can see the extension just right click, and application dot HTML. Okay, blah blah blah. It's done, and now let's switch over to my phone. Okay guys, so I am on my phone now, or iPhone, and uh, I have got an iFile, and what we're going to need to do is, well, you're going to have to find a way to put it on your, uh, put the zip file of the demo game dot app folder onto your device, and I recommend using the web server feature of uh, iFile, and then uh, it's going to show you this directory right here, actually, uh, this one, and then you can just upload it. This is what I did. It's only 634 kilobytes, so it shouldn't be a trouble. Uh, basically, just unarchive the uh, zip file. Click done. There's your uh, .app folder. Copy link to it. And then go to the Applications folder in slash. Uh, I will tell you the reason behind that. Um, <clears throat> that is, we need to create an IPA file, and we sort of need this to create the IPA file. So basically after you're done copying and pasting go to demo game dot app and then when you see the my app binary file click it and then just go down and you select user and uh, select execute. Same thing for a group click execute. World execute. You do not need to put write for group and world. So after you're done click done. Uh, I just I just like to refresh go to rest and there's your little files and we'll do web viewer <coughs> excuse me and then there's you know that well the web view of the game is working so after you've done that I uh, to in order for your app to come down to the springboard you need to respring your iPhone or iDevice uh, I will do that but when you create the IPA you will not need to do that we will go through that in a second I will be right back after I respring. Okay, guys, so our app is right here. We're going to launch it, and then as you can see, the game is working. You know, thing right here. There we go. There we go. Oh, you son of a gun. Alrighty. So it is working, and now to make it an IPA file, what you're going to need to do is go to Cydia. And then, uh, if you're not aware of this, because we're using SRH script, we need to be jailbroken, obviously. So, you're going to need to do uh, AP2, or you're going to have to get AP2 IP. It's giving me some installation problems, but it still works for me, so whatever. You know, it says package queued to be removed. Uh, I don't know what this thing is talking about. <laughs> but, you know, just go get mobile terminal AP2 IPA and... Um, I think it's going to have you install installers, but I never even use it, so, but we'll get into that. So, <clears throat> the, um, the, as you can see, like, you cannot delete this, so, you know, this is a, not an IP, IP, uh, IPA package yet. So, we're going to go into terminal, we're going to log in as root, S-U-N-A-L-P-I-N-E as the default username and password. And then we're going to click AP2 IPA. It's AP, the alphabet, to the, the number, and then the uh, IPA, the alphabet. Click return. And then you'll see the um, little, you know, welcome page. So we click or we type AP2 IPA space dash L. Press enter. And this is all the list of the apps you have installed on your or system apps on your uh, device. Well, what this tweak does is creates uh, an IPA file if you select it to do that. So I can make a demo game dot app IPA file. So we're gonna do that. What we're gonna, gonna need to do is type in AP to IPA space exactly as we typed the um, you know as we see the uh, name of the dot app folder in our case it's a demo app so we're gonna go up I'm gonna show you real fast you can see capital D E M O 
and then capital G A M E dot app. And then just click enter. It's gonna create the directories and all the good stuff. Click no to the install it. I don't really care if it opens or not, because we're not even gonna use it. So now our IPA package is ready in the installs directory. Now we're gonna go back to iFile just to check it. I believe I've already made one. Because I did try to make a tutorial before and I sort of failed. But whatever. So as you can see, you know, this one is the one I created first, and this is the one that just you you must be seeing right now. So what you can do is click the arrow, go to the edit mode, and then just you know, delete the dot app dot ipa or just make it so that it's dot dot ipa. It doesn't really matter, but I just kind of you know like it like that. So <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna go back all the way back where we installed our original dot you know app folder where the script thought it was the um, system full of file so <clears throat> we're gonna delete this we're gonna go back now as you notice that the app is still there so you need to respring again <clears throat> in order for it to remove but we sh uh, yes we're gonna do that so that's much clearer so we have the IPA package and I'm gonna respring and I will be right back okay guys I've resprung and as you can see the app is gone now what we're gonna do is install it. I'm gonna use IPA installer because it's the fastest thing ever to use to be install to to install IPAs. And we're gonna go to downloads and then there's our demo IPA waiting. So after you've done or after you've installed, just exit out of the app and then there's your IPA package. Click later and then voila, you know the game still works you cannot tell this is a web page agreed yes so you know <clears throat> give uh, props to Slugrail for making the awesome script oh, son of a gun and uh, I completely suck at this game because well this game sucks to begin with uh, as you notice that you know there's blank spaces right here um, since this is a demo app I am not going to go thorough into why that is missing because I don't even know why that's missing but um, in the coming tutorials when I do learn how to create apps and you do figure out how to make apps uh, or using or games that using this method I am pretty sure this is nothing to worry about as uh, there's multiple ways to detect the width of the website when the page loads loads so um, don't start playing this game like I am right now and uh, you know if you have any comments suggestions questions and all that good stuff let me know the comments section below and or just post on my blogger because it is lacking a couple of comments and uh, I don't like to see it um, you know like a ruin but uh, thank you guys for watching this video please comment share subscribe like good stuff and uh, you shall have a good day and night and all that good stuff and uh... oh wait um, uh... no that's next video <laughs> alrighty thank you guys have a nice day